Hello, everyone. Scott Sullivan Bell coming to you live from the North Shore of Oahu. It's December 30th, 2014. Kind of a chilly day. It's 65 degrees out here on the beach. 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's talk about some sales training. I want to talk to you about panic in the sales process. Now, one of the things that I see salespeople and they're not prepared enough for is some of the strange situations that they get put in. So this is going to be the first thing in the panic in the sales process. So this could be... Uh, Somebody comes in that they're not expecting, so they're going through their sales process, they've done all their, their information, and maybe they've signed their client up and they're wrapping up information, and somebody shows up, and it's what I like to refer to as a sniper. And that person comes in and like, oh, well, did you get three bids? Did you talk to this person? Did you talk to that person? What are you doing? I got a friend in the business, okay? So that's gonna be a strange situation. Now, we're also gonna talk about external circumstances where somebody comes in and it's just absolutely weird and i wish i could give you an example on youtube that's happened to me but for the sake of not getting in trouble and censored from youtube i really can't give it to you but let's say that somebody comes in and uh somebody got sick somebody got hurt you know somebody had to call the fire department this is all going to be strange situations something weird happened at the job site that you were at that's going to be strange so what are you going to do i mean for the most part we can talk about it, but once you get into that, that's when you're really gonna have to deal with it. But think about this, there's gonna be a point where somebody comes in and stops your process and creates a challenge for you, and then you're like, oh my goodness, now what do I do? And then the panic sets in. But you know, nobody really ever talks about the weirdness. So you know, here, the first thing we're gonna do is the sniper. What are you gonna do when the sniper shows up? This is the person who's trying to take your sale away, and it may be on accident, and it may be on purpose, okay? Maybe on accidents, maybe on purpose. No, the thing that you need to know about that person is if they were important, they would have been there to begin with. Or they are a person that the buyer was hoping wouldn't show up because they do hold some sort of mental weight with that person. And they have a belief that that person, if they were there, would sway the decision. So you have to know sometimes that person isn't like, I don't, it could be uh, in, in like in home sales, it could be a neighbor. And if it's like in office sales, it could be like another manager, it could be another boss. Just know that somebody at some point when you're in the sales process is going to show up and try to take your sale away either knowingly or unknowingly happens a lot okay so what are you going to do in a strange situation when the sniper shows up what are you going to do in a strange situation when just something weird absolutely weird gets thrown out there now this is one of the reasons why i've shared with you before previously that you really need to take improv classes now and it doesn't matter what city you're in you're looking at about 80 to 200 bucks for a six to eight week class for improv it's about average. It could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less. Don't hold me those numbers, all right? But here's what happens. As an improv, you just get used to weird situations and strange things happening, and you just roll with them. And sometimes it's just a matter of just, all right, well, I'm just gonna roll with it. It's not that big of a deal, okay? So the first thing on the panic in the sales process is people aren't oh, oh, ready to take care of the unusual thing. Now, an unusual thing for me is uh, I was out here the other day, and there was a lady walking around in the background yelling in Chinese. I have no idea what she said, and I just, all right, go ahead and go with it. Yesterday I was out shooting in Honolulu and about 20 feet away from me, I was out on one of the, the piers and this lady's yelling at her kid while he's out there surfing. And it's like, all right, I just got to deal with it. No big deal. I just made it part of the video. So the thing for you is what are you going to do when a strange situation happens? Now, once again, you can't script out everything because there's yeah, sometimes there's some challenges and it creates some confusion. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question or story. That'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe. And then you, know, you can always send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, StumbleUpon, said that twice, uh, Reddit. That's the one I was looking for, Scott Sylvan Bell. Only Scott Bell, Sylvan Bell, see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.